and today I'm going to tell you about what I learned in my NYU class. I took two classes today at NYU, my combinatorics class and my number theory class. I learned a little bit in my number theory class about more rigorous proofs, but I especially learned a lot in my combinatorics class. Where I was able to learn about something called complementary counting. Complementary counting is when you want to find the number of ways that an arrangement can satisfy a certain condition, but uh, it's very tiring to calculate that number directly. So you calculate it indirectly by taking the total amount or the total number of arrangements and subtracting it uh, and subtracting from it the amount of ways that don't satisfy this condition. For example, uh, problems that complementary counting can be used on is if you don't want a four in the last three digits of your social security number. Then what you can do is there are three, three cases. You have one four in your social security number, a two fours in your social security number, or three fours in the last three digits of your social security number. Sorry, I should rephrase the question. What if you do want a four in the last three digits of your SSN? You have all of those three cases to consider. But what you can do instead is take the total number of social security numbers and subtract the number of social security numbers that have no four in uh, the last three digits. So an example of this would be, there are nine digits in your SSN, so and there are 10 digits that can be used in your SSN, so 10 to the nine uh, for total SSNs, and then you subtract that from the number of social security numbers that have no fours in the back. So that's 10 to the six times nine to the three, because you only have nine choices for those last three digits. So that's it. 